anxious millennial thoughts have led me to discovering the most life-changing binge-worthy content upon entering my 30s. And just so I don't ruin any more dinners and hijack conversations raving about these sources, I'd like to share them here. I can't be the only one that absolutely hates the thought of dealing with my finances. And once I turned 30, I had a little bit of a breakdown because I had the financial literacy of my dog and I didn't know where to start when it came to saving up for my future and not having to pay student loans at the age of 83. But then I discovered the Choose FI podcast and I binged the hell out of it. So the premise of this podcast is that the hosts bring on actually normal people who are pursuing what's called financial independence. This is basically where you are trying to generate wealth so that you can stop working as soon as possible while still living the same lifestyle or your desired lifestyle without having to deprive yourself and eat ramen noodles every day. Honestly, I could eat this shit every day. From this podcast alone, over the last year and a half, I learned how to open up a 401k, a Roth IRA, a high yield savings account, an investment account, and put money in there, negotiate better for myself, for my career, how to travel hack. Abby and I went all the way to Guam from Virginia and back for $900 versus $5,000. Saved potentially $70,000 worth of student loan debt I might have accidentally paid if I just didn't know silly little rules. Saved on car insurance and my phone bills without sacrificing coverage and just learned a lot of little life hacks and learned books, products, and things that just make life better and more fun. If I had to pick one YouTuber that has had the biggest impact on my life, it would definitely be Matt Diavella. If you don't know him already, his content is heavily structured around self-improvement and he arguably has the biggest biceps on YouTube. So after binging his entire channel and going like on a self-improvement marathon, I continue to engorge myself with more of his content via his podcast, The Ground Up Show. It's discontinued since 2019, but even now I think that it's very, very helpful. It is super inspirational and it features a bunch of entrepreneurs that are coming from like the ground up, but I have never felt any kind of motivation or inspiration than like that time. It's basically where I discovered bullet journaling, making smoothies, becoming a morning person, making this YouTube channel, like all the things that you ever think about wanting to do. If you listen to this podcast, it will like, propel you to do them. It's gotten to the point where my wife has even benefited from me fangirling over his content and she even says stuff like, I bet that if Matt Diavella owned this, you would buy it. And she's not lying. But anyways, I would just binge his channel, binge his podcast if you haven't already, and I'm sure your life will be better for it. Okay, so I've never really considered myself much of a reader until recently, and back then when I discovered this book, I didn't read at all. But when I found this book, I binged it in like a day. And this is probably the most influential book that I've ever read that has brought me the most happiness in my life. And that is Marie Kondo's The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. Yes, I am talking about the Spark Joy Lady whose Netflix series caused Goodwills to burst at the seams. If you don't know already, her book is basically about how to declutter your life with intention and keep things that really spark joy to you. What I love about this book is that it encourages you to choose the lifestyle that you want to live. It's not like minimalism where like, things have to be a certain way and everything that you use must be essential to whatever you're doing in life and bring value. It's similar, but not really. Like, I have a lot of things compared to what a minimalist would have. And Marie Kondo's book is basically talking about keeping things, not necessarily getting rid of things. For some reason, I feel like she's gotten a lot of hate for her method and a lot of the stuff in her book has been misconstrued into throw everything away. 
What are you doing? But I can confidently say that our home looks the way that it does because of these two books. If you are looking for a dramatic change in your life, I feel like sitting down and just binging these two little books is definitely worth your time. So despite having anxious millennial thoughts and feeling like I'm behind in life or whatever, I feel like I've had the most growth in the last year and a half thanks to these sources. And I also feel like there's a lot of others that have contributed to this, but this would be like my MySpace top three. Comment below if you have any sources on things that have helped you become a better person and otherwise I'll TTYL. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck?